So, you want to create comic style renders in free and open source software Blender. The solution? Grease Pencil, and a couple other handy tricks. First, some setup. Open the Render Properties tab. Make sure that you're rendering an Eevee. Scroll all the way down to Color Management, and since we aren't trying to make anything look realistic, change the view transform from Filmic to Standard. We can tweak the contrast later with the Look dropdown, but for now we'll leave it at None. This will make our colors look much better in the final render. Next, we need some poppy tune shader materials for our objects in the scene. Click your object and go to the shading workspace. In between your principal BDSF and your material output node, place a shader to RGB node and then after that a color ramp node. In the viewport it looks like nothing has changed, but everything has changed. If you move your handles on the color ramp, there, suddenly we're getting somewhere. And now we can change the colors, move the handles, adjust it all on the fly, even add new handles for more effects. If you're going for more of a cell shaded harsh line look, change the color interpolation from linear to constant. Now we're really, really getting somewhere. Add all the objects you want an outline on to a collection that we'll call Outlined. Now add a grease pencil blank to your scene. We'll name it Outline. Go to your timeline and make sure the object's keyframe is on frame 1. Now go to the Modifiers tab and add a line art modifier. Make sure the source type is Collection and add our Outline Collection. You can set the layer to GP underscore layer and the material to the default black. Here we can change the thickness and the opacity. If you want to have a different color, go to the Materials tab and change the base color to whatever you want. Go to the Object Data Properties and uncheck Use Lights so your color isn't affected by shading. To fix the lines clipping into the geometry, go to the Object Properties, Viewport Display, and check In Front. Much better. In the Line Art modifier, we can check and uncheck any options for the kinds of lines that you want to show. And as you can see, the outline will always render from the camera's point of view, so you can move the object or the camera, and the outline will always be there as predicted. One weird bug of this modifier is that when you have intersections checked, it will show lines on intersections, even on objects that aren't in the collection. Here's how you fix it. Scroll down the Line Art modifier. In the intersection pop-down, check one of these boxes. Now, the intersections are gone. To bring them back, scroll down, open the Chaining drop-down, and check Intersections with Contour. This brings back the outlines only on the objects that are in our outline collection. Don't ask me how it works, but we have to do weird things sometimes. If things ever act in an unpredictable way, go back to the solid view and then go back to rendered view. That'll fix things right up. Now we want to be able to draw additional details onto our object. And to do this, we'll add another grease pencil blank. We'll call this one detail. And with the blank selected, we'll change the object interaction mode to draw mode. To get the lines to stick to the geometry, let's change the stroke placement to surface and offset to zero. Make sure that your strength is one. We can draw away and not just from the camera angle, we can draw from any angle we want. But now we're having the same problem as before with the outline. It's clipping into the geometry. And if we make it display in front, lines on the back side of the object will show through and that's not what we want, is it? So instead of checking in front, here's a little trick. Credit to this tip goes to pro grease pencil artist Sophia Jantrak. Check her out in the description. Click on the object you want to draw onto. Press Ctrl A and apply all transformations. Go to the modifiers tab and add a solidify modifier. Change the offset to 1. Now we can draw right on the object with that extra padding to keep things from clipping. Turn that modifier off and look, everything's in front. You can do anything to the grease pencil object that you can do to a regular object. So you can parent it to your object so it follows it around, or go into edit and sculpt mode and change it that way. And before I go, I have one more tip for you. If you want to get that jittery flipbook hand-drawn look on your lines, here's a really easy way to do that. On the grease pencil object you want jittery, add a noise modifier. Change the randomization steps to however many frames you want to wait before the line changes. Now you can change every aspect of how you want the noise to affect your lines in the modifier. To get this neat water looking effect, I change change the position, the thickness, and the noise scale. But you can tweak all these to get the effect that you're looking for. Now play your animation and look, all that hand-drawn detail just from a click of a button. And you can add this to your outline too. So that's it. Get out and make your own hand-drawn looking comics all in 3D.